Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today we'll be painting something really special and really cool. We're gonna paint a fish that's eating another fish. Or maybe choking another fish. It depends on how you want to look at it. But it's gonna be really cool and we're starting right now. Alright, let's begin this awesome project. Now, before I put any paint on the lure, I'm gonna entirely tape it with just masking tape, this is regular painter's tape. And the reason that I don't put any paint on there yet is because we're gonna draw out our design from that tape, and then we're gonna cut it out, and then we're gonna remove a part, and then we're gonna paint it on there. So if I would paint my lure first, give it a base coat, I would put my painter's tape on there and start carving, then I will be cutting out paint, and I got a risk that I pull off paint with the masking tape as well. So I don't want to risk that, so that's why we're going to put on the tape first and then do all the rest. Alright, so now we taped our lure and it's important that you don't need to tape the entire back side and uh, not even the entire front because the most important part will be where the mouth is and that's the piece that we will need to tape off. If we paint something here, we're not going to get a lot of overspray here and we can cover this a little bit. So the most important part that has to be taped is around here where the mouth will be because we will need to cover that when we've done the fish that's in the mouth. Then we need to cover that again so we can do the details on the fish that is actually eating the other fish. So now I'm going to draw my design with a regular pencil and then I'm going to cut that out with my precision knife and then we're going to start painting. So now I'm quickly gonna cut out the design and then we can start painting. Alright, and now that this is cut out, we're gonna take off the fish that's inside the mouth first and we're gonna paint that one first and then we're gonna put the tape back on on that fish and then we're gonna do the rest of the fish. Alright, so now we're ready to paint and sometimes if I don't have any inspiration or I don't know what I want to paint, I just simply look in an aquarium book. So sometimes just to find some inspiration and some cool color patterns, I like to look in an aquarium book. These are full of really colorful fish that have really nice reference pictures, really nice colors, and it's just a great way to find some ideas. So for the bait fish that's inside the mount, I want to go with this pattern. It's kind of a goldfish, but it got these black dots that's going to create a little bit of a texture and a, bit, a little bit of a random pattern which is really nice to paint really easy to you just need some gold some fluorescent orange and some black so it's nothing really difficult but it just looks really cool and we're gonna build up a high contrast from there so because this will be a goldfish fluorescent orange we're gonna keep this fish darker and it's gonna be it's gonna be a really high contrast with that goldfish sticking out of its mouth then so i think that's gonna be a really cool and really unique pattern so we're going with this. This is my really nice reference picture. And we're going to do that very simply. So first we're going to do a white base coat on the head. Now for a second color I'm going to use fluorescent red. And I like fluorescent red more than fluorescent orange. Even though it actually kind of looks more orange than it looks red in my opinion. But it's just a little bit more uh, present. It's a little bit stronger. I really like the coverage of the fluorescent red and the way it sticks out on the lure. Now before we move on, I always like to put some texture on there. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of Wicked Opaque Bismuth Yellow Venadate. And I'm going to combine it with a little bit of Wicked Opaque Pyrrole Orange. And I'm just going to dip it on there with a paper towel to create a little bit of texture. And 
Now we're gonna put on our gold and I like to use gold chrome for this because it's a very thin paint and you can layer on a really nice thin shiny layer of gold which that red and all the texture that we created is gonna shine through. But if you don't have any gold chrome you can always use pearl gold and just thin it down a little with a little bit of reducer so you spread out those pigments a little bit more and then layer it on very lightly. You can always apply an extra layer but it's really hard to take a layer off. So on the reference picture you can see that the belly is more bright yellow goldish. So we're going to recreate that with some sun yellow and then we're going to cover that with some polished gold from Vallejo. It's going to create that yellow goldish brighter color there. Alright now it's time to put on our black spots and first I'm going to do it with a Vallejo black wash because that black is a little bit more transparent. And then we're going to do some extra dark spots with an opaque black that's going to cover really well. And it's going to give those deeper, darker spots on there. And now this is dry, we're going to put our tape back on. So for the fish that is eating the other fish, I also looked up a, a little bit of inspiration and I found this fish pattern and I really liked it a lot. So it's a kind of a dark greenish pattern with a purple color shift on there. So we're gonna try to recreate that a little bit, give it some texture, some darker spots and everything. And the main color is gonna be a dark moss green, dark green uh, kind of color. So first, a little bit of flow improver. And some Vallejo dead white. And now we dip some Vallejo dark green wash on there with a paper towel just to create a little bit of a texture. And then with some Kratex detail moss green I'm gonna spray over there to cover the rest of the white to make everything green. And I'm also gonna put a little bit of a dark green shadow underneath the upper lip. So that we're creating a shadow between the upper lip and the lower lip. Alright, now for the head, we're first gonna do a white base coat. I'm using some Wicked Opaque White with some 4050. Now for the head, for the first under layer of green, we're just gonna airbrush some Vallejo Wash Olive Green on there to create that very, very, to create that very light green base. And now with the same wash and a paper towel, we're going to create a little bit of a texture here and there. And now with some Wicked Detail Black Magenta combined with 4050 and 4011, I'm going to darken those gill plates just a little bit on the sides and the top of the head I'm going to give a little bit of a darker texture as well. And in our reference picture there's a little bit of a color shift shifting from a blue to a purple going on on the gill plate as well and it's kind of textured so we're gonna use the color shift as a base layer and then we're gonna create a little bit of texture on top of that. So I'm using the shifters electric blue to intense violet And now with a sponge we're gonna create a little bit of a really dark green texture using an uh, olive green wash from Vallejo. First we got to wet this sponge. That's very important when you use sponges. So I'll let that soak for a minute and then we're gonna dip on our wash. Alright, so now I removed all the rest of the masking tape, I placed the head back and now I'm going to do a white base coat first. And 
And now that our white base coat is dry, we're gonna do the same texture as we did on the rest of the fish. Starting with some dark green wash from Vallejo, I'm gonna dip that on with a paper towel, rub it out a little, create a little bit of an irregular, really nice texture on there. And then we're gonna make some darker spots on the top of the back with some olive green. And now if we look at our reference picture you can see some underlying darker spots onto the scales especially on the back and a little bit on the side so we're going to recreate that by using a little bit of wicked detail black magenta reduced with some 4011 and a little bit of 4050. All right, now this is dry, we're gonna do our scaling. Now our scaling is a really nice color shift. We're gonna use Vallejo the Shifters Electric Blue to intense violet, just like we did on the head. So I'm gonna use a little stencil that I once made. I got two different sizes, so I probably will use a few big ones in the middle and then fill the rest up with smaller scales so that we got a little bit of an irregular pattern going on. But you can just as well use a mesh or another stencil as long as you get a, a scale pattern effect. That's that's the key. Um, I'm gonna do this with my lure flat on the table so it's easier to place my scale on there and press it nicely against my lure so that I don't get any overspray. It's gonna give me more control. Now to give the scales a little bit more of a pop and may, maybe make them a little bit brighter, I am going to paint a little bit of the shifters electric brew into this violet with my pencil onto the end of every scale. A little bit irregular, not every scale, but just here and there. And hopefully that's going to make it stick out a little bit more. And now with a little bit of wicked pearl white, I'm just gonna do some more scales. Some with already color shift, some without any color shift and just a little bit of pearl white. Just to make it a little bit brighter again and pop it off from the body. And now that our paint is dry, we're gonna do the belly white again and we're gonna cover a little bit of those scales, just a little bit so that the white belly fades out into those scales. I'm gonna use Vallejo Dead White for that with a little bit of Flow Improver. Now with a little bit of Wicked Detail Moss Green, I will darken the back a little bit and color those fins a little bit more green. Now if you look at our reference picture then you can see that the fin has a little bit of white on top with a black line and the tail fin has orange with a black line. So we're going to do that but we're going to do that with a pencil. This is much easier and it's going to give a little bit of a nice texture as well. So first off we start with white and I am using Vallejo Game Color White for this. And now I'm gonna cover the white from the tail with a little bit of Vallejo Game Color Orange Fire. And now with some Game Color Black, we're just gonna make those black lines that the fins both have. And now with a little bit of Wicked Gloss Black, I will be doing a little bit of shadowing around the gill plate. And 
And now that everything is dry, it is time to remove all our masking tape and see what we got. So now it's time to put the rise in and I have sanded down before I painted it. I sanded down the eye sockets a little bit around the holes that I drilled. These are just pilot holes for my eye so that I know where they will be. Um, and I sanded around that a little bit so that the surface of the lure is a little bit more coarse there and that's gonna make my glue or my 5 minute epoxy in this case gonna adhere better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my 1000 grit and I'm going to sand the back of the eyes just a little bit. Now you have to be careful you don't sand away the print because then your eye is just going to be blurry or um, you're going to damage the image. So sand it very lightly just that it becomes rough because now it's very smooth and that might make the epoxy adhere not so well. Because we're not going to cover the entire eye, we're just going to cover the bottom with the epoxy. We need to make sure that it really adheres well to this eye and on the surface of a lure. And now we're going to mix a little bit of 5 minute epoxy. funny thing with this lure is if you would catch a fish with this lure you would be catching a fish that's eating a fish that's eating a fish which is pretty funny as always guys I will leave a link in the description down below for all the materials that I used this will guide you to my web shop which is based in Sweden and if you buy anything there you will be supporting me and the channel if you got any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments down below thank you for watching have a nice day and see you next time bye bye